He's a mariachi singer on the side, so adding his voice to the Daisy song in one of the classes at the Concord Village Elementary School in the Bronx wasn't much of a challenge. New Chancellor Richard Carranza participated with gusto. At his first press conference as Chancellor, the mission seemed to be to avoid hitting a false note. It was his first solo press conference without the watchful eye of Mayor de Blasio. Carranza, who has bragged that there is little daylight between him and the mayor, was still careful, explaining his lack of specifics. I'm in fact-finding mode, so I'm just observing, asking lots of questions. So thorny issues like his position on charter schools, ending segregated schools, students who live in homeless shelters, will have to wait until Carranza has an opportunity to get his arms around his system with 1,800 schools, 1.1 million students, 75,000 teachers. Still, I tried. In the wake of Parkland, many parents have called for locking school doors after the kids arrive. I wonder where you come down on that and if you think there are other measures that should be taken to make sure that the kids are safe. School safety is a parent concern to us in, in the DOE. Uh, that being said, we have the ability and actually we're very fortunate to work with the most highly qualified uh, security experts on the planet. It's called NYPD. The Chancellor said he would meet with Police Commissioner James O'Neill to hammer out safety initiatives. Some of them tweaking them, some of them uh, perhaps new, uh, but we've also put on the list uh, these issues about securing doors, when to secure doors, about egress. And as he walked the halls and met students, Carranza got a taste of just how big and diverse the New York City school system is. In the Bronx, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marcia also asked the new chancellor how he feels about New York State's stance on legalizing marijuana. She will have that on CBS 2 News at 5.